What's going on, dudes? Welcome back to the vault. It's your boy MC Massive Shark Titties. Um, and if you hadn't guessed, the film I will be reviewing this evening is The Suicide Squad. Um, just to jump straight into it. Uh, this one opens with some Johnny Cash before we meet our first member of the squad and then the rest of the team. Um, a real star spangled cast for this one. Uh, Margot Robbie returns once again as Harley Quinn. Um, and is joined by some old faces and some new. Uh, Idris Elba is a new addition along with John Cena, Alice Braga, uh, Nathan Fillion, Pete Davidson, uh, Daniela Melchior uh, and David Dalmach Dalmachian. If I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Joe Kinnaman, Jai Courtney and Viola, da Viola Davis all... Uh, or return also. Um, I really love Davis as Amanda Waller. Um, like Margot Robbie, it was just a perfect casting, honestly. Um, the standout, though, obviously, was Sylvester Stallone as King Shark. Um, he was honestly the highlight of the entire thing. Honestly, the whole cast was, was great, honestly, each just bringing their own flair to the film. I love when uh, films like this just have like a really huge... Um, well-known cast because they can all just kind of bounce off of, of one another it's really great um the story for this one is sort of a continuation of the first film however this second installment is a lot more fun uh, and enjoyable than, than the one before it um the film starts off strong by wasting no time in sending the suicide squad on a mission right away um within the first 10 minutes you know they have been briefed you know, allowing the film to get well and truly underway. There's there's no time wasted, and I really appreciated that. Um, the gags and the humour in this film also certainly benefit from the 15 age rating. And if I have any subscribers that's outside of the UK, we do our rating differently over here. We, we go from 12, A, 15, 18. Um, there are some proper laugh out loud, loud moments. The comedy was just really able to to flourish, and I really appreciated that. Suicide Squad needs to have adult humour for it for it to truly work. So I appreciated that it was meant for a more mature audience. And I'm really enjoying the fact that film studios seem to be seeing the benefit of having an R-rated um superhero film and, and allowing these these sorts of films to just kind of spread their comedic wings, if you will. Um another aspect that benefits greatly from the age rating is the action sequences. Every sequence is brutal, gory, and just super violent, which I absolutely loved. Um, again, it's Suicide Squad, so it only really works when you have people having half their faces blown off. Um, the action sequences are just super fun and zany. They really do complement the overall humour and tone of the film. There's nothing, there's nothing really much else to say about the action. It's just super enjoyable and easy, easy to digest. And I just loved that it was as as brutal as it was. It, it just made the film that much more enjoyable, you know, um, you know, along with the adult humour and, you know, the adult action sequences. Um, James Gunn writes and directs this film. And whilst he is yet another director that, you know, is, is hit and miss for me, he certainly knows how to introduce new and not so familiar characters. You know, and, and he, he gives us a film with humour and just overall entertaining action. I was a little worried when I first heard about this film. I was worried that we would just get like a DC version of Guardians of the Galaxy, but that is not what this film is at all. Um, Gunn seamlessly introduces some pretty niche characters, uh, you know, and gives them a gives gives them each a chance to shine, um, which allows us as an audience to fall in love with these characters. Um, you know, Polka Dot Man, fucking Peacemaker, Bloodsport, you know, all these all these great characters. Um, the suicide the Suicide Squad cast of characters is extensive. So I'm really interested and excited to see who they bring in in the future. Um, I didn't really learn anything from this film, but I didn't know I needed to see John Cena in tighty whiteies until, you know, until, well, until I saw it. Um, but there we have it, guys. There's my very quick review for The Suicide Squad. Um, let's just jump to the two most important questions. Question number one, would I recommend this film? I would 100% recommend this film. I went in super sceptical. Um, just expecting another, like, a rehash of Guardians of the Galaxy, but just with DC characters. How wrong I was. I'm so happy I was wrong, because this film is, is just super bloody entertaining. It's really funny. Um, so for those, even if you're not a massive comic book reader, you don't read a lot of comic books, I would 100% recommend this film. It's, it's great. Um, question number two, does this film belong in the vault? My only issues with this film was that the pace dipped dramatically in the middle act. Um, 
and it it didn't need to be over two hours long it it was just far far too they could have cut so many scenes um that and i felt like they didn't need to kill off characters left right and center that it literally um spoilers but the beginning so many characters die <laughs> it's ridiculous you know but then it is called suicide squad so you know it is kind of understandable um but like i said i i love this film i enjoyed it way more than i thought i would um and you know it's funny the action is great the characters are just super um easy to kind of get along with so for those reasons there's that little diamond star that's gone off with a a grunt from edge of Cell, but i don't know there we have it guys there's my review for the suicide squad um as always if you've seen it and you loved it let me know what you loved down in the comments below if you hated it i'd be interested to hear from the people that hated it what you disliked about it um and as always guys if you like what i'm doing here please don't forget to like subscribe share this video with your friends your pets your family and your friendly neighborhood weasels until the next one peace love my dudes